1947, the communist government in Warsaw decided to build a new city near Krakow. The city would be called Nowa Huta, and it would be the first city in the communist bloc without God. These are supposed to be secular socialist cities, in which there will be theatres, cinemas, cultural centres, but no churches. Many young people went there to work. Most came from Polish villages. These are people raised as Catholics, torn out of their familiar setting. In the beginning, they tasted this freedom, popular liberalism, everything that the authorities were promoting. In every corner, there were many bars with vodka, shops with beer, and everyone was walking around drunk all the time. Boys would go around visiting girls, girls visited boys. There were many children born out of wedlock. There were ponds of burnt limestone because they were building using traditional methods. My friends who were workers said that every day they would pull wounded corpses out of these ponds. Different neighborhoods fought one worker's brigade against another, and over ridiculous things, but the brigade was making false reports on imposed working norms. It slowly occurred to these people that they were missing something, that they had grown up with some tradition, and that this tradition was being somehow marginalized, outlawed by the authorities. This provoked social discontent, but the people's discontent was repressed during the Stalinist terror. In 1956, as a result of the so-called Polish October, the process of de-Stalinization, some changes in the leadership of the Communist Party took place. The new first secretary became Władysław Gomułka, who faced great pressure from the grassroots level to change the official policy toward the Church, which had become symbolized by the imprisonment of Cardinal Wyszynski in 1953. The Catholic Church in Poland is the strongest in Central and Eastern Europe. The process of attacking the Church was therefore carried out progressively. From 1947, the authorities launched a hidden war to undermine the Church, which became an open conflict by 1950, affected through arresting bishops and priests, removing religious education from schools, closing down Catholic institutions, newspapers, etc. The peak of these policies came in 1953 to 56, after Cardinal Wyszynski was arrested. Gomułka, obviously a communist, was pressured to ease his policies toward the church. When the people stopped being scared, they made demands for things. They said, we want a church in Nowa Huta. They began protesting, but they did it by sticking a cross into the earth of Nowa Huta. Several thousand people came, then tens of thousands. Gomułka came to power. People went to see him in Warsaw to ask him for permission to build a church. And he agreed, but only verbally. He didn't give any formal written confirmation. Gomułka realized that liberalizing official policies toward the church would have to end. 
latem 58 roku. In summer of 1958, when he decided that the social situation had calmed down enough for the policies against the church to become more strict, the first attack came. They used massive repressive measures, such as the repossession of property from people who allegedly failed to pay taxes, and removing religious education from schools. 